Eggs rules. It has zero weld and all zero body. It was only seat belt. For this entire winter, I have not had heat in this truck. Well, that's not true. I've had heat on the windshield, but I have not had heat on my feet. I have not he had heat on my face, and it's getting very frustrating. So I've looked it up online, and apparently what's wrong is I have a blend door issue. So I'm taking this to town today to have the air conditioning line separated right there, because I can't do that. They're going to drain the lines and separate it. And then what I have to do, is I have to pull the entire dash out of this truck. I mean, gear shifter, center console, steering column, dash has to go on the seats, and I'm going to change the whole HVAC. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want my heat back. I want to be warm inside this truck, and right now, everywhere we go, we are freezing. Non-stop cold fest in this truck. What I've done is I've contacted a buddy and bought an another entire HVAC system off of him. Now a couple of the doors were broken inside of here, but I was able to fix them with some super glue. And uh, I've got it all torn apart. What we're going to do is when we take out ours, the one out that's in the Dodge right now out, I'm going to put my air conditioning ra uh, rad into it because I don't know if this one has any holes. And same as the heater. The heater is inside of this one here. You can probably see it back there. I'm going to put mine in there because I know mine's got no holes, no leaks, no problems, no funny smells in the cab. So I'd rather put all my old stuff in there and then rather than put this into there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drive to Alliston and we're going to basically pay a shop to drain all of our air conditioning out and disconnect our lines for us. And uh, we're going to go from there. This is probably what's going to take me the next two or three days out here in the shop. I'm just getting over a sickness and it's going to suck basically. Pulling the whole dash out of this truck is not an easy job. I've looked it up online and people say it takes them about four hours to do and the downside with me is because my truck is so tall me jumping in and out of this truck repeatedly is not going to be easy especially when I've been basically in bed for the last three days sick there's a uh, a lot of work to do on this uh, the first thing is we got to pull the center console with the shifter and then there's a couple bolts underneath there. We got to pull these two pieces off. There will be two bolts here and one bolt on the bottom. We have to pull the plastic piece off the bottom of the dash. Lots of bolts in behind there. We remove both pillar. That one there might be a little bit difficult because of all the electrical on it with all my gauges. So I'm not too sure how easy that's going to come out. But it has to be done. This has to be done. I want heat in this truck. And it's not a hard concept. I just want heat back in this truck. Well, the Dodge has dropped off and I'll be back in an hour or two and pick it up with no AC in the lines and we can start the dash tear out. Now that the truck is home and we have those two little air conditioning lines disconnected because I can't get those undone myself, we're going to start getting ready to replace the actual whole HVAC system inside this Dodge. The first thing is actually unhook the batteries. Because we're dealing with airbags here, we want the batteries disconnected so there is no power for the airbags. And then after that, what we're going to do is remove the trim right here on both sides, the center console, the shifters, and the uh, handle trim on both sides, including the pillar. So let's get started on that.
Now we got a lot of the plastic out of there. We got these out of there, the kicker panels. We've got the side of the dash. We've got the top of the dash. We've got the gear selector. What we, the, that pillar there, I can't really remove because of all the, the pods on it. So what we got to do now is we got these three bolts right here, two here, and then one on the bottom. We have two down here by the selector. We have to drop the steering column and there'll be two underneath the steering column. So the steering column is just gonna come, gonna come down as low as it can go. And then we have three on the other side. And then across the front here, we have two 10 mils and five eight mils we need to remove. So let's get those go out of there now. And then uh, when we get to that point, I'll show you all the electrical you have to disconnect. The next thing we're going to do is rip out this piece here and then there'll be four bolts holding the steering column up so then we undo those, drop the steering column down and there'll be another two bolts that actually hold the dash to the top of the steering column. And when we're doing that we're going to disconnect this which is your e-brake disconnect and we're also going to take off your hood disconnect, quickly disconnect your OBD2 sensor and for me I have to remove my trailer brake so it might take a little bit longer than the average person's. We've undone all the bolts now, we've dropped the steering column, I did the electrical, it's kind of hard to show you with the camera so maybe I'll show you once the dash is out. There is a lot more electrical in this truck than the average truck because the person before me put a huge stereo system inside of it so there's little stereo stuff everywhere. But as of right now I'm pretty sure we can grab this dash and we can lift it right out so let's try it. Ready honey? All right, not gonna happen yet. Okay, can you try to move your side? Yep. Okay, I'm trying to move my side. Your side. We have to get up and over that shifter. This is why you need to leave fucking vehicle stock. Coming from the girl who's one of the queens of modifying stuff. I don't modify the inside. Why does this feel so much heavier than the other dash? Because this one here is a, a higher trim package, my life. Okay, you ready to try this again? Okay. I'm still caught over right here somewhere. Yeah, a lot of cracking and creaking. Okay, let's try this again. Two, three. Okay, hold that there for a second. Let me get a ratchet strap or a bungee cord or something on this. We got the dash out now. It would have gone a lot smoother, but honestly, there is so much wiring that has been added to this thing. Like, I've counted three of these boxes inside this truck now. Look at all the speaker wire, and they ran it through parts of the factory harness. Um, honestly, this would have come apart much easier if the... Speaker wire was not there. The speaker wire is ran everywhere. It is ridiculous. But that being said, now that we're to this point, to take this HVAC unit out now is just a couple bolts along the inside here and one or two bolts on the outside underneath the hood. So let's get this thing out and see how many of our doors are actually busted.